Hi, my name is Luann and I work out here at the Schlegel Branch at Wyandotte County Lake Park. Out here at the lake, we're lucky enough to see a lot of wild animals like deer, red foxes, raccoons, lots of different kinds of birds too. In the winter time when it snows, that's the best time for us to actually see how many different types of animals are out here and how frequently they come out here. That's because in the winter time when there's snow on the ground, we can find their tracks. So today we want to take you with us and we're going to go out around our library area and see what animal tracks we can find. One place we decided to look for tracks first was underneath our bird feeders out here at our Schlegel branch. We have 15 bird feeders out here at our branch that we put out, uh, not only for the birds, but for other creatures that come along too. Squirrels and other creatures come underneath the feeder to see what they can find for food too. Uh, sure enough, we came out here and of course there's lots of bird tracks, the little tiny bird tracks you can see underneath the feeder. but we found a little bit more. In our yard, we might see cats or dogs, just domestic ones. Out here at the lake, we can see tracks of foxes or bobcat. Um, one difference in seeing those tracks is cats will retract their nails when they are walking. Um, dogs can't do that. Dogs can not pull in their nails. So I can see some nail marks in this one, and it makes me think that either could be a dog but I'm thinking more fox. We see a lot of red foxes out here. Here's a, one of, a human print next to one of our fox prints right here. And we really like this print because you can not only see the marks where the nails would have come uh, pushed down, but also the toe pads too. We found these tracks hopping from the garden by our building out toward the forest. And uh, do you know what these are? One big hint, we have oak trees right around here, lots of acorns. And if you watched our previous videos, it is a squirrel. Um, it could be a squirrel, could be a rabbit at first, until you look carefully and you can determine which one it is. With squirrels, they hop just like a rabbit does actually, but when they hop, they put two feet together, two front feet, two back feet and they hop that way. You can always tell they're right next to each other. Rabbits oftentimes will leave a hole like that in the snow. It's more of a diagonal rather than next to. Because in the snow you can't see all those characteristics of toes and fur and things like that. So rabbits leave it like this with the longer track in front. That was my fake rabbit track. Hopefully you'll find a real one later. And the squirrels are feet together. Let's kind of follow it along here. And you can see how their back feet and their front feet are kind of together. They hop. Sometimes they're apart, sometimes they're more together. And he took off into our woods. I love when you look for stories out in the snow too. Um, it's hard to tell when an animal was here. We know obviously in the last couple days with the snowfall. But were they here at the same time? Were they here hours later from each other? So we have our fox, which is walking around the tree here. We have our squirrel nearby, which also makes me wonder if there were any rabbit tracks, if our fox was trying to sniff out a rabbit. So I'll follow our fox along here. And probably some squirrels. And our fox actually continues around the tree here. Ooh, these are some great tracks. These are not fox anymore. Let's look at these. You can see the long toes. This is actually, it looks awfully big, but they're probably a squirrel. Um, squirrels have really long nails and actually long toes. And this is a great shot of those long toes in the soft snow. You can see them right here. So when you look at tracks, you kind of have to look at the size. You have to look at the placement of the feet, like how these are together. Like you said, he's a hopper right there. Or if they're spaced, more like a walking animal like this. Walking animal might be more like that. The hopper is going to be 
closer together like this. Deer are very common around our library too, so we knew we'd find some of those tracks. Sometimes they're just like a hole with not very good definition, and other times they're like this one where you can see a nice definition in the hoof right here. Pan out a little bit. Here are more steps in here where you can't see quite as good of a definition, but you can see a little bit of the ridge for the top right here, come to a point. Then the next step, you can see more of the rounded of the bottom. Think about where they're coming from, where they're going. A lot of times the deer out here use the trail just like we do. It's just an easier way to get around. A lot of people have been crossing the bridge since it snowed here and uh, found some more tracks. But my guess is because of all the human tracks here and the mixture in that somebody was probably walking their dog. We get a lot of people walking their dogs. These are a lot bigger than the fox track. So you probably see these in your yard if you have a dog. Once again, you can see those nails, the tip at the top. All right, we're right here behind our library near the lake and you can hear all the geese out there. And with that, sure enough, if you can hear them, you can see them and sure enough, they've been up here too. So we look carefully, you can definitely see the goose tracks right there next to possible fox. So thank you for joining us today at Schlegel Library, where the stories are both inside and outside the library. We hope you can come out here sometime soon and find some stories of your own.